Revenge films. My brother is a complete idiot, which made his wife divorce him. It all started when my sister-in-law got pregnant. She was already having severe morning sickness at the time, but it was still too early to take maternity leave from work. Her paid leave wouldn't be enough to cover the duration of her pregnancy, so she decided to take some time off work. Luckily, her company offered her benefit, and it was about half of her salary. However, my brother was not happy when he found out about it. How are we supposed to live now with so little income? He complained. My brother also wouldn't take care of my sister-in-law when she got sick at night. He just complained about how no one was doing the housework, but he never bothered to help. When my sister-in-law forced herself to get up and do housework, my brother would say, That's the best you can do? Everything's still dirty. Can you stop being so lazy? He kept whining about things while doing nothing himself. My brother would only help water the plants or take out the trash. Then he tried to guilt trip my sister-in-law by saying, See? I'm doing stuff now. My brother didn't even bother to visit my sister-in-law after she was admitted to the hospital due to severe sickness. He claimed it was her fault that she couldn't stay healthy and refused to pay her hospital bills. My sister-in-law didn't have anyone to rely on. She had already cut ties with her parents, so she had no choice but to seek my help. My father and I went to their house as fast as we could. We found piles of garbage, dirty laundry, and dishes lying around the house when we walked in. My father and I were both shocked. My brother said, Look how messy this place is. I got so furious and slapped him in the face. Your wife is pregnant with your baby and this is how you treat her? We tried to lecture and make him realize how ridiculous he's been, but he replied, It's her baby. She got pregnant by herself. I almost couldn't believe my ears. Even my father thought my sister-in-law was having an affair, but my brother said, That's not possible. And denied it. So I asked him what he meant. That's when I realized my brother had no idea how babies are conceived. He had a very different understanding. He believed women could choose to ovulate and control conception. He thought women would fertilize their own eggs and turn them into fetuses. And sperm merely played a role in protecting the egg. My brother said, She wanted a baby, so she made one without discussing it with me. He was so certain about his theory. So I asked him, why do you think contraceptive devices exist then? To my surprise, he answered without hesitation. To prevent STDs, of course. Can you look up the meaning of the word contraception? I'm so ashamed of having you as my brother. I threw his phone and shouted at him. After that, my father and I taught my brother about fertilization. My brother was shocked. What? It has my genes in it? How can you not know that? My father sighed disappointedly. We spent the following two days teaching my brother about genetics. I know he didn't take biology in high school, but I'm sure the problem started long before that. Throughout his life, people have always been telling him, you look just like your father. I wonder if that had ever made him think. Toward the end of the second day, we switched to another topic. It was, how should dual earner couples support each other even when they're not having a baby? I had to teach my brother how to organize his family finances and do housework. But my brother was so excited about his new discoveries. The baby has my genes! Yes! My sister-in-law clearly had enough. I can't live with him anymore! That's it! I'm divorcing him! And she cried in the hospital. Based on the way my brother treated her, I couldn't oppose the divorce because my sister-in-law had a point. My brother's ignorance cannot be forgiven. Because of his ignorance, he decided not to do any housework or help my sister-in-law when she needed it. It was completely unacceptable. Also, if we hadn't told him that my sister-in-law didn't get pregnant by herself, maybe he would never consider him the father and take responsibility. The more I thought about it, the more I was puzzled by his thoughts. My father and I agreed with my sister-in-law about the divorce. But my brother said, I can change! Why can't you give me a chance? And he refused to sign the divorce documents. Fortunately, the baby was growing healthily. My sister-in-law said she would raise the child herself. She decided to divorce my brother and never let him see his child in the future. I felt bad that they were getting divorced, but I agreed it was the best option. 
When I told my brother how my sister-in-law was feeling, he argued, I understand the importance of mutual support now. We can live as a couple just fine. Understanding the importance of something can't solve all the problems in your marriage. And the biggest problem is she doesn't love you anymore. It's embarrassing being the older sister of such a stupid and ignorant man. My sister-in-law almost went into premature labor due to stress. She had to stay in the hospital till the baby was born. Then my brother announced that he was obligated to visit her since they were a couple. I had to tell the nurses about the situation and ask them to keep my brother out of my sister-in-law's room. My brother yelled, What's the problem? Let me see her! My brother's home was still a mess. When I asked him, he said, It's okay. We'll clean it up together when she comes back from the hospital. Don't worry. I'll help her with housework from now on. He still thought he will be helping her instead of doing the housework. I'd never expected my brother to be so helpless. He seriously needed to change. My father and I decided to help my sister-in-law get a divorce. We brought the divorce documents to the hospital and handed them to my sister-in-law. I'm so sorry that my brother is such an idiot. She signed the papers and gave them back to me. Then we went home and called my brother over. You need to sign this. Huh? What is this? I told you I'm not getting a divorce. Your wife doesn't want to stay married to you anymore. It's too late now. I said I'll make it right because now I know it's my child. Do you know how much stress you gave her? You must show compassion and love to your wife if you want to stay married. But you didn't care about her at all. And she doesn't love you anymore. I'm still not getting a divorce. Enough is enough. My father, who had been listening to our conversation, suddenly stood up and punched my brother. You'll help because now you've found out it's your child? It's clear that you had never cared about your wife. Why would she want to spend one more day with a selfish guy like you? She already said she doesn't love you anymore. That's enough reason to get a divorce. My brother was shocked that our father would punch him. More importantly, he finally realized that divorce was his only option. So he sighed and signed the papers. My sister-in-law submitted the divorce documents and finalized their divorce. After that, my sister-in-law gave birth to a healthy baby. She left the hospital without telling my brother. My father and I sent her $10,000 to compensate her for the troubles my brother had caused her. She also could use the money to raise the baby. Thank you for taking care of me till the end, sister-in-law. You're welcome. Sorry I couldn't be more help. My stupid brother has learned from his mistakes, and he's regretting it now. But since you're disappointed and stopped loving him, divorce was probably the best option. We won't be families from now on, so do your best and live a happy life, okay? Thank you. That was the last conversation I had with my sister-in-law. My brother realized he would never be able to see his ex-wife or his child. Perhaps he also realized how stupid he had been. He cried out loud alone at home, but it was all too late. Before my sister-in-law gave up on him, he had many chances to make things right, but he was too ignorant and stupid, so their marriage was bound to end in divorce. Regretting it now won't change anything. Now their relationship can never be fixed. My brother still wants to be involved in the child's life, so he's now working hard, trying to send my sister-in-law as much money as possible through her lawyer so she can use it for the child. My sister-in-law and my brother are divorced, but I hope she can find someone soon and live a happy life. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.